Okay, first, I just want to say thank you to everyone for joining this webinar. We are going to take um, just about an hour of your time and we will definitely leave time at the end to answer some questions. Um, plan on going through some of the 2020 trends that we see, Thermatrue new products that have been introduced over the last year, and then some brands and marketing tools that we have that can help as um, you are out in the field using and selling our products. So just thought I would put some faces to some of the voices that you're gonna hear on the phone. Um, first is me, my name is Kate Athavale. I am the district manager for Thermatru and Saipon in the Northeast, covering New England as well as all of New York State. Um, the next is Greg Georgette. He is the territory sales manager, covers Connecticut, New York, um, and the Vermont area right now. So Greg wanted to let you all know that this is what he looked like uh, before he went into quarantine for the coronavirus, yeah. and, and that's what he looks like now. He's aged a little bit in the last five or six weeks. Um, and then last on the bottom, we have John Warnicke on the line with us. Um, he is from our home office back in Maumee, Ohio, and he is the inside sales supervisor, and he's gonna go over some of the brand and marketing tools. So I'm gonna walk you through some of the 2020 design trends that we see. We try to design our products to meet evolving trends. So if you've seen new product presentations from us in the past, or probably as you've been flipping through either Harvey or Thermatrue literature, you may remember some other names for each of these design buckets. Uh, these names change as we work to keep up with the ever moving trends that are really changing throughout our lives. So in 2020, we really see some home designs blend together in a variety of ways to create some updated looks that are perfect for our homes today. So our first bucket is called the curated casual. Uh, this is what I refer to as the Chip and Joanna, Joanna Gaines from HGTV. So if you think of it as an evolution of casual, it's clean lines, sophisticated textures, and refined accents. The farmhouse decor that's become so popular really falls in here. And this trend draws in homeowners who want sophisticated styling that's really livable. The three main home designs that we see in curated casual are the modern farmhouse. So really that next generation of farmhouse that's moving in from the, into the suburbs. The Craftsman Cottage, hold on one second. If you just joined and had someone calling you in the back, if you can make sure to mute your phone. The Craftsman Cottage, which really is the updated version of a cottage that combines casual living and historic looks. And lastly, the simple barn, which is a streamlined version of the barn. So these homes all feature tailored trim work, artisan accents, and high contrast elements to create really almost an effortless statement of style. Our next trend that we see is modern mix. So this is a blend of contemporary design with some unexpected touches, like high contract mixes of materials and also the integration of nature. It's minimalistic, it's unexpected. If you think clean lines, modern design, and then really just throwing in a large oversized sofa into the mix. So it's eclectic in its choices of textures, colors, and patterns. Again, there's three main home styles we see in this bucket. They all feature linear lines, textured accents, and eclectic angles with wide entryways that promote seamless indoor-outdoor living. The modern prairie, which is a new streamlined version of the bungalow. The mid-century modern uh, with a leaning towards more relaxed look. And then last one is the luxury shed. And I will let you all decide if that is a man cave or a she shed. So our last trend is lively heritage. This is a new bold take on traditions. 
so it appeals to homeowners who crave classic looks with a breath of fresh air. So I live just south of Boston and in this area, these are really the looks that appeal to a lot of homeowners. If you think of fresh looks with timeless luxury, it's, you know, a lot of the classic looks and then maybe adding some modern colors. This is where we see the new take on the modern Tudor, the refreshed Victorian and the tailored colonial. These homes all have modern elements blended with timeless looks and drama to redefine the traditional designs for today's world. They have tall peaks, natural wooden accents, and warehouse windows that all help create light and airy spaces that really preserve the historic roots of each of these looks. Now, as we design our new products and put them out into the fields, we really try to bucket them into each one of these different styles. So as we see some new products, you'll be able to see where they fit into there. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Greg. Oh, th thanks very much, Kate. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk through some of the uh, new products we had come on board in, in 2020. And 2020 was not a typical year for us at ThermaTru and Python. We, uh, we hadn't had a lot of, of, of completely new door styles in 2020, but we have been able to hone some of the uh, things that we've uh, been working on over the years and, and lend some uh, more attention to them as we go forward. So um, I think Kate did a really nice job in terms of, in terms of looking at um, what some of those design trends are as we get into some of the uh, more, uh, I wanna say complex designs that we have in the portfolio. They may uh, then you know, make a little more sense when we're, when we're talking uh, through that. First major section we have uh, to talk about is fire doors. And uh, we did have a new product introduced in, the, in late 2019 and 2020 in our 20 minute foam core uh, fire rated fiber classic and smooth star fiber class doors. I think most of you know on the call that you know the, our standard smooth star or fiber classic door will not um, meet the fire code needed if you wanna try to use that in an insulated condition between the house and the garage. Um, for those that have used our fiberglass fire door in the past, um, one of the things that you'd note is that the door had a concrete door, a concrete, excuse me, core, and was really heavy. I mean, it was almost 100 pounds. So throughout the whole channel, whether it's, you know, at our trucking, you know, our distributor, our, our dealer, um, you know, uh, our end user, um, in terms of installation being the contractor, you guys, you know, it was bare to kind of kind of uh, use. But we now have a different core in the door, which is 45% uh, lighter. It still is different than the standard core and those doors have to be called out with the correct style number that includes an S as in Frank in it. And uh, at that point, then the, the door is gonna have a label and it's gonna meet the requirement in mo that most towns in the Northeast, um, you know, um, uh, need to meet between the house and the, gar in the garage in that in this 20 minutes. So um, really nice ad addition to the line. Um, and for the folks I know in our fabricator locations, they've really found it uh, a lot better to work with. And I'm sure in the field, you're, you're probably seeing the same thing. This slide talks about what styles are available in Fiber Classic and Blue Star. Most of those are available. Um, you know, all of them are available in six feet heights. We have some uh, available in seven oh and eight foot heights as well. So again, really nice application. I mean, I, I unfortunately have a, have a steel door between my house and the garage. And, in you know over the years the thing gets dense and things and and so on um, a fiberglass door um, you know is really a better a better application there and uh, I'm uh, planning on switching mine out this year believe it or not and uh, because it really is a, a a better a better application uh, it is rated uh, as a 20 minute rating uh, by Warnock Hershey which is which is our um, our third party certification uh, and it's, it's tested to 1400 degrees Fahrenheit and it's got a category B positive pressure rating. So again, it's never gonna, never gonna scratch, again, we're gonna uh, dent, certainly isn't gonna rust, uh, and gives a nice, a real nice uh, application for that house to garage. I'd, I'd uh, encourage you guys to, uh, to check it out. One of the things that's new uh, this year is uh, when we make this new um, core uh, fire door, well, some of the standards are, are the blocking that comes in it. Um, 
every door uh, that's that's manufactured has this uh, full length locking on the on the lock side and also at the head. So in case you needed a closure in a light commercial application, um, you know it's already there, and it's got an additional piece of blocking on the hinge side in case you need a a push bar. So um, you know, ideal for a hotel, apartments, office buildings, um, other applications, um, including security locks and card readers. So again, something to think about as, as you're uh, as you're working through those specifications. Uh, think of us um, when it comes to the 20-minute uh, fire door. Of course, uh, our takeaway is that uh, what, so what I touched on before. You know, it's it's much more durable in steel. It's going to look nicer. You know, in the case of the fiber classic, you could stain it to match the doors if they're stained on the inside of the house, um, and they're not going to uh, degrade from heavy use. Uh, it's, it, it doesn't it doesn't dent and is resistant to uh, to abrasions, and of course, backed by our industry leading warranties. So, nice uh, nice option. Nice thing that we uh, changed this last year, and uh, a definite improvement in the in the product line for 2020. Moving on uh, into new door styles, we introduced some shaker style designs to the line last year. And um, in the Classic Craft American, which most of you know is our fur grain, right, in the Classic Craft collection, um, we really came out with all these styles, but the base, the basis are, uh, for the, all these styles is really just two different doors. Uh, it's a one light door, where it says additional door styles on the left there, that door in the top left, and the door right in the middle of that section, the one panel uh, shaker. Now, our classic craft American Craftsman door, which is our one of our most popular classic craft doors, that sticking profile has not changed. That door has a flat panel, but it has OG sticking, okay? It's got a radius sticking. These new doors have a shaker sticking, so the, uh, you know, the joinery between the, uh, uh, the, you know, the style and rail in the panel is angular, uh, steps back, has a little angle to it, and it's really set up to receive a, a simulated divided light bar uh, very nicely. So because it's a classic craft door in the, in the glazed doors, the standard glazing is low E. Um, we, don't have an I, we don't have an insulated glass option, and now we have the six privacy glass options. Um, introduced uh, this year. So any of those glazed designs can be made in any one of those six um, new uh, privacy and textured uh, glazing. We're gonna talk a little bit more about um, our enlightened flush glazed riders in a minute. So I'll skip over that right now. It does, of course, this whole category has our limited lifetime warranty like the rest of our uh, fiberglass uh, doors in our, in our portfolio. So two different um, bars to get those designs, any of the angle bars, the narrower one, and the uh, horizontal bars um, are the wider, uh, the wider bar. So we'll move on to the next one. Here's a nice um, beauty shot of a kind of an unusual door. It's a you know, cross buck uh, with a glazed cross buck look and a double door. And again, for uh, the right application, you know, some of those designs that Kate was referring to earlier in the presentation, this really dovetails nicely into a, a lot of new home designs. Uh, that's, a, that's a pretty bold look. Um, this, these doors are available in a three foot width and either six foot eight high or eight foot high. Um, you know, the opaque doors, the door, we call opaque doors the doors that don't have glass in them. They can be, of course, be paired with full, full light side lights for a real nice natural uh, lighting uh, effect on the entrance. So, um, again, very much in, on trend with some of the new cabinetry designs that have been out for the last few years uh, in that shaker, uh, that shaker design. So um, if you haven't seen one uh, yet, I'd, I'd encourage you guys to get into uh, some of the showrooms that Harvey's has that shows them because they're really, they really are terrific looking. Um, in terms of, in terms of true, true advantages, uh, again, you know, fitting a, a, a whole array of, of architectural styles. Um, I can't tell you last year how, how many times I've gone into a dealer and, and you know, one of the guys I've known for a while say, geez, I can't get why you guys introduced all these wacky styles. Who buys these things? And I can tell you that when we go through our fabricators that, that set these doors up and the, they have them in the portfolio, 
I mean, they are making them. They're making them every day, and there's uh, and there's door and there's um, home designs and architects and people that are rehabbing their homes that are looking for something a little bit different. And uh, this door doesn't break the bank, and it gives a really, really, really nice look, uh, really distinctive look to the exterior. So I'd consider that as you're talking to your clients going forward. Let's see our next slide here. We're going to talk about the addition in Classic Craft, right? Classic Craft's our premium line. And in 2019, we introduced satin etched glass. Uh, we, we, have, we have privacy and textured glass in the line, um, in, the, in the rest of the glaze lines, but we didn't have satin etched in Classic Craft. So we added that in, in 2019 and are, and are featuring it in 2020. And again, the, the kind of the white lamy, laminated glass look uh, in some of the contemporary designs is very, very popular. This satin etched glass, like the rest of our privacy and textured lights, is, is, uh, is triple paned. It's the, the textured glass is in the center, and we got two pieces of, of flat tempered uh, on either side, which uh, do two things. It, it makes for the glass to be easily cleaned and uh, gives us a little better U value um, and R value uh, requirements so we could meet energy, energy star ratings. But uh, again, this you know, it's horizontal. Kind of um, divided light look is is becoming very popular again, and uh, in and when co accompanied with the satin etched glass, really is a, a, a beautiful a beautiful product. Okay, we'll move on to the next slide. These are these are the designs that satin etch has been added to, and categories it's been added to. Of course, it's been added to Classic Craft American in the one light, so we can make uh, all the different designs listed on the right, um, and in Classic Craft Mahogany, Oak, and Canvas, we've added Satin Etch to the half lights, and in all the collections, uh, we added it to the side light. So again, on the bottom there, we show it's three foot uh, uh, width, six, eight, or eight, oh, height, 14 and 12 inch side lights. So again, a lot of neat uh, new uh, styles available. Gonna talk now about um, the rest of the product line and the work we've done with simulated divided lights. Um, we made some additions in the last year, and the main addition has been the change in the, comp in the composite material we use uh, for the SDL bar. Initially, we were using a more PVC-based product. Uh, our, new our new bars in fiber classic and smooth star and, and steel um, are, are a of a composition that will take a lot of heat and have no deflection. So those are all the different sizes and styles that we offer. You know, we offer um, about an inch and an eighth bar in both scrolled and in smooth. We have a flat one. And then we have the wider bars uh, for the contemporary horizontal design shown there as well. So uh, the takeaway here is, guys now and ladies, these doors can be uh, painted a dark color, be put behind a storm door, and uh, they are not going to, um, you know, uh, move. Uh, so you won't get cracks in the joinery lines where, this, where the horizontals and the verticals meet and so on. Um, so again, you can feel confident in, uh, in painting the door a, a darker color and use an SDL. All right, what styles? Um, you know, the, the, the top line there are new styles that we show in our, in our full line catalog and would be uh, visible if you viewed our product online. Um, you know, it's a big deal for Thermatrue when we come out with a new style because when we come out with a new style, we also have to have all the collateral that goes along with it, uh, the shop manuals, our detail book, the architectural detail manuals, and everything else. So um, those are our standard uh, styles, and it makes it very easy for the for the fabricator to uh, to to produce because they're uh, you know they're all uh, uh, coded into their um, DLMC uh, uh, machines that that, uh, that that pick the parts and so on and so forth. So um, you know with SDL, in a lot of cases, our fabricators, uh, Harvey's can can source our product and get just about anything you might draw on a napkin as long as it's uh, straight and not radius. But, um, but again, there are, uh, those are our standard styles uh, for this year. And then, of course, we have the existing styles below. Uh, in this category, in fiber plastic, smooth star, and in, in steel, we're able to do insulated glass. Uh, we could do low E glass and the six different privacy uh, options. Okay, so we can move on. Um, here's some different designs that we came out with last year on the bottom. Um, again, those horizontal designs are, are, are pretty popular. I don't know if anyone on the call today 
went to the International Builder Show uh, this past year in Las Vegas. I was I, I was fortunate to attend this year, and uh, I worked part of the booth that had uh, the door on the bottom in the middle in a, that 3080 four light uh, door with the narrow flat SDL bar. We had that door in our booth set up as a 12 foot um, patio, an entrance kind of patio, where we had uh, four three foot panels, a uh, double door in the center, and two and two deadlights uh, next to it, and it painted a very on trend gray blue color, and it was really got a lot of attention. Um, our everyone in the booth had a little booklet with a cheat sheet that uh, kind of gave you the retail um, on the door. You know, a lot of folks came up to us, and when when we relayed the retail. Uh, price for that, they said, wow, that's uh, that, that's that's a good um, uh, cost for us because if we get that same look from our window supplier, um, it, it typically is, is a lot more money than that. So, again, something to think about. Um, again, a very nice look, and in, in for somebody doing new construction and they're supplying a, a house full of uh, SDL windows, um, you know, our SDL program really, really fits, its, fits nicely into, uh, into, a, uh, into a nice high-end or, or medium uh, range home. So uh, the ones on the top, of course, were the were the more contemporary designs. Um, and these are some uh, SDL options we show for um, both scrolled and flat. So I would say um, the reason we included this slide is, you know, folks, when you're picking out a simulated divided light product, um, we really we we really encourage uh, folks to use that option in flush glaze because it looks really nice when it dies right into the style and doesn't have the raised perimeter. Uh, but also be mindful that you know you have to specify whether it's a flat bar you want or the scroll bar. And uh, I'm getting a big thunderstorm coming through where I am, so hopefully we will be okay here. All right, let's go on to the next slide. Here we got some beauty shots. Again, a uh, couple of uh, two new looks. Um, you know, some of the, 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 the more traditional designs that Kate reviewed earlier, nice look on the left, um, you know, a large 3080 door with a four light pattern, which is, you know, we're seeing in a lot of uh, window, window designs as well this, these, these past few years, very much on trend with the, with the rectangular, um, you know, long lights going, uh, going vertically. And then, of course, the very contemporary look on the right, um, utilizing a, a fiber classic um, uh, flush glaze door. So again, a uh, really spectacular look. That one, of course, is uh, is imaging um, satin etched glass. So uh, really sharp, and uh, some things we could do um, often. Now we've we've been promoting flush glaze doors um, for a long time. Thermatru has had a flush glaze option in their portfolio for over 20 years, and uh, it, you know we we always tend to hear the pushback that well, geez, if if I break the glass. I got to replace the whole door panel, and that is true. Um, but we feel this is the natural evolution of the uh, insulated fiberglass product or insulated door category in general. Flush glazing and the clean look um, is, is really desired. It really looks like a style and rail wood door. And so what we've done is we have we have riders out to protect both the builder and the homeowner, um, you know, for um, remedial action if something needs to happen. So Anyone in the channel, whether it's our, if it's our distributor, a fabricator, um, uh, you know, the contractor, um, you know, anyone on the job site, if the glass breaks on that flush glaze door, anytime before the job is done and the, you know, the contract is the, the, the last payments made and the and the, and the owners are, uh, are are then given their, you know, signed off on the pro, on the project, um, glass breaks, thermos will replace the door, no charge. Okay, and to en enhance that, last year we came out with a rider for the homeowner. So if something happens to the door within the original owner's lifetime, whether you know, in terms of a warranty issue, and a warranty issue is, you know, let's say the door gets a seal failure, or you know, it warps for some reason, or if it, you know, if it, it if it, it, we don't have a lot of them, but let's say you get a delamination or something like that, which would require the replacing of the door we would uh, offer to the homeowner a $300 credit to them so that they could have someone come in, you know, replace the door, swap the hardware, and repaint the door. So, again, what we're trying to do is, is just take any angst out of the, um, out of the buying decision, um, 
you know, for someone to, to, uh, to, to opt for a flush glazed door. We really believe in the product and we really feel that it's, uh, it's really the, uh, uh, the best way to go if you can. If the style's available, flush glazed, we encourage um, you guys to really promote it and, um, with your customer base. So that, that. Um, new for our program in 2020, uh, starting this year, is going to be a black grill between the glass. So while it's not on the shelves right now in any of our distributors, um, and Harvey's has not brought this in yet for the Thermotrue line, um, we are going to have in both flat and contour uh, a black GBG. And um, it's, it, at this point uh, in 2020, it will not be a split finish GBG. So you, from us, you can't get a white inside, black outside, or vice versa. It's black inside, black outside. Uh, but again, we showed this at IBS this year, and uh, it really looks great. It's, it's a nice look. We realize it's popular. We haven't had it before. So uh, we launched it. It just started to be open for business for, um, for our fabricators to order uh, starting in March. Um, not stocked yet, so, you know, it's three weeks to Harvey's, so you got to allow probably four to six weeks, um, you know, uh, for, for, from, from commencement of order to get something. But we will have it available. If you're, if you're looking at a job, uh, you know, coming up, uh, uh, hopefully we have, you know, some, some nice project work coming up um, and they're considering black GVG windows, uh, Thermotrue can offer um, a, a glazing that'll match. So that's new for this year. Moving on. Next thing that was new uh, this past year and we've gotten some traction with is our flush glaze internal blind. The internal blind product for us has always been a, a very popular product up until 2019, if someone wanted a blind between the glass, we had to do it in a lip light, which is the one with the, you know, with the, with the frame around the glass. And last year we introduced uh, throughout the portfolio um, a blind between the glass for our enlightened flush glaze. Terrific look, very on trend, um, very clean, 2628, 210, and 30 are, are our stock sizes and uh, available 6668 and 8 foot. Of course, have the same uh, enlightened flush glaze, flush glaze warranties I just discussed, uh, and we can get this product either low E or clear. Um, you know, we we recommend in any of the any of the cooler climates uh, low E glass, so we don't have any you know condensation on the, on the glass. Um, low E helps us, you know, with the E values. Um, so I think the next slide, Kate, shows some nice detailing. So of course the little image on the left shows the nice contemporary kind of shaker look of the flush glaze mini blind and the traditional uh, lip light frame. So very, very much complements the uh, interior design trends um, that are popular today. We have a single operator actuator for, for those of you that have used our, our, our mini blinds in the past, you know that it all works off one wand. When you pull the wand, all the way uh, down, the slide goes up, or the blind goes up, and, and conversely, you pull it up, it goes down, uh, and you move it up and down a little bit, and it, and it, it changes the angle of the blind. We changed the, uh, the um, design of this a number of years back on, on both the lip lights and the flush glaze, where it's a cogged belt and no longer strings. So uh, they're pretty durable, and uh, I know as I carry a sample around a 22 by 36 one, and I could turn that thing upside down and on its side and the blinds all get smooshed up and uh, you really put it vertical and move that wand up and down and, and, the, and it kind of auto corrects. So uh, real nice design, very durable. And uh, we, we have very, very few uh, callbacks on mini blinds when we used to have, uh, unfortunately, uh, um, more than we have today. So, so that's a nice uh, addition to the product line in 2019. I'm going to talk a little bit about door surround. Um, for those of you that are aware, Thermatrue and the Fipon Millwork Company uh, are associated companies. We're, we're uh, owned by Fortune Brands, and the sales staff, uh, John, Kate, myself, we're all, we're all um, responsible for promoting both sides of the product line, both Thermatrue and Fipon. Uh, you know, Fipon would, would be some of the material a lot of you guys are used to using, like those um, those little corbel details above that three-wide window on the left, 
you know, louvers, brackets, ornamental pieces. But a big part of our business is crossheads and uh, door surrounds. So we introduced the door surround portion of the product line to the Thermatrue family. Um, low maintenance, long lasting performance. Um, we came out with some new designs, which, which are more um, on trend, uh, maybe not as busy as some of the Rams heads that people that, you know, are familiar with the, with the five bomb product cross heads and, and, and entrances, um, you know, the big pineapple uh, uh, finial we used to do and all those sorts of things, which are still available, but these are much more on trend in their in their under the Thermatru um, uh, product line. So if someone's in our Thermatru on our website or in our product catalog, uh, they'll they'll know that uh, those are available um, through the channel through Harvey's. And again, uh, it's 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 high density polyurethane. Uh, it it doesn't um, it doesn't absorb moisture. Insects don't like it, so it doesn't warp wrap 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 warp crack or split like wood. It does come primed. Uh, and it does have to be either stained or painted. So again, a nice dressed up entranceway on the outside. Um, we also offer these things um, in lineal length with caps that are shown like at the top. So if you're doing a, a small subdivision or a house that's gonna have um, cross heads over the windows, um, you don't have to go crazy figuring all, you, all your casing widths and, and window widths. Uh, you, could, you could buy this stuff in lineal length, uh, cut it on site and uh, use the caps to make uh, for a real real sharp on trend uh, design. So um, our, I would ask you to consider our, our door surrounds um, on your next project. This is the four different, uh, really three different uh, molding designs, traditional Craftsman Cove, Craftsman Step, flat trim, um, you know, that smoother wood grain as well. Uh, nice thing about Bipon guys is, and ladies is that um, it does come primed. It could be painted a very dark color. It could be painted black. It could be painted dark brown. And unlike PVC, it, it, it's not going to move. It doesn't have the same characteristics um, as that product does. It's, um, once it comes out of the mold, when introduced to heat, it, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't expand or contract to any, any um, negligible amount. So it's, uh, it's, it's really a terrific product. We have pilasters as well available. So uh, nice, nice way to uh, enhance the curb appeal of your home. In terms of FIPON, the rest of the product line, we do have some new products for 2020. I'll get through these things. Um, first one we're going to talk about is, uh, is beans. And then we're also going to talk about column wraps in, in a new uh, grain uh, uh, product we have. So the smooth beans, um, beans in general for FIPON have become very, very popular. Um, our bean category um, is, is we're kind of known for the grained beans and the mantles and shelves that we make. but um, going with some of the kind of cleaner, smoother interior design trends, you know, in a look like this in this bedroom, nice step ceiling. If you're going to, if you're going to build this out of, um, I don't know, prime poplar or pine or, or, or maybe the real McCoy and beans, it certainly is going to be very labor intensive. Um, our beans uh, make for a, a, a much, a much faster application and uh, in a nice, clean, sharp, uh, sharp detail line. So, um, this slide I like. This has, you know, a couple of different applications. That living room again, and a uh, nice look in the kitchen, right? You got some V-group pine on a very contemporary, nice-looking expanded kitchen, and of course those beams uh, going between um, those, you know, the two the, the the two sections of flat ceiling there. So uh, nice design trend, nice look in this dining room. This is kind of a cool a cool look. Um, in you know, when you're talking to architects and designers. Um, you know, this product able, enables them to do, achieve some symmetry, like in the, in the picture on the upper left, you know, we've had that, that uh, dining room showing some natural grain uh, V-group pine on the, at the top, and of course the wood floor on the bottom. The, um, the, the smooth white beams really accentuate the, the contemporary tabletop and the, and the shelving and so on. So it really makes that room pop. Um, so again, uh, a, a, nice, a nice design cue. Uh, can be had with this product um, and just showing, of course, uh, a nice uh, beam application in a basement, nice finished basement. So that's a good application. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, installation. So it's really lightweight, easy to install. If you guys haven't worked with it, I encourage you to, to check it out. It uh, doesn't need any structural support, of course, because it is, it is uh, polyurethane um, molded and it's relatively light. It uh, comes at a long length. So the, 
the piece on the right, you know, the picture on the right, I should say, you know, shows some some one by stock being made to um, you know to, to to achieve a beam look. Of course, if you really want a clean job, you'd have to go back to that and and fill those seams so it looks really clean. Um, you know, it doesn't really give you a beam look. It gives you kind of a look of a bunch of a bunch of pine uh, joined together or a flat stock of some sort. Um, but of course, the the beam the smooth beam product that we're talking about uh, comes in a couple of different sizes. So here's another nice look with some different offsetting beam styles to really uh, accentuate uh, an expanded uh, living space there. Uh, looks terrific. And um, we're going to go over, uh, we talked about painting. All these five pound products come primed. They do have to be painted, but as we discussed before, any color and they're not going to, uh, you know, be adversely affected by, uh, by sunlight. So, uh, all right. So here are the uh, are the nominals. You know, it comes in a four by four, four by six, six by eight, eight by ten. Uh, of course, the actual width, just like dimensional lumber, on the uh, on the half inch or three quarter, um, and uh, comes in uh, eight foot uh, to uh, two hundred forty inch uh, length and uh, in in two foot increments. So again, um, a lot of flexibility there. Um, we've got. Uh, a little bit different um, length in our grain beams. Those come up to 288 inches. Uh, there, there are some freight charges assigned, uh, associated with the beam. So just if you're if you are looking at uh, a beam project, um, we just became a much more competitive with uh, with freight. But some of these things in the long length, um, you know, uh, uh, do need to get shipped uh, over the road um, on a on a tractor trailer. So. Um, just be mindful of that. In our 2020 Python product catalog, we have the sidewall thicknesses, the inside top width, and the bottom width. So it's different. And I think uh, you kind of see in that cross section that it's a little skinnier on the inside uh, at the bottom as it is on the top. So just be mindful of that. I think our next slide talks about, yeah, it talks about all the different sizes. That's, this is, a, this is a, uh, a page right out of our, our 2020 product catalog. So again, a lot of information there shows you all the different lengths that uh, that that those beams are available in and sizes. Those are the rough sawn beams. Okay, so again, showing the different uh, categories as well, up to 288 inches. So again, two foot increments. Okay, next product we're talking going to talk about is the uh, new product for us: our Ever Cedar, our grain wood grain column wrap. Unlike PVC, this is made out of polyurethane. Uh, it is non-structural, okay? Um, it can be stained or painted. And, and, you know, as Kate was relaying earlier, some of the trends uh, we're seeing um, across the United States and, and in the Northeast are a grained look around the porch for, uh, for columns. And, uh, again, it's saying attributes as the rest of the Python product light, uh, line, like weight, you know, food for insects, comes unassembled, easy to handle. Uh, it could either be put around a four by four, four by six, or uh, we do also sell a metal structural post kit if you're so inclined to use it. So we've got that, can be painted, again, any color, dark colors. Um, and this is the you know, typical installation. Of course, you've got your structural post there and you're gonna block around the, the post of top and bottom, uh, measure the column wrap, uh, cut it to size, this stuff does come in four pieces. So what a lot of guys do is they'll put two L's together so that uh, if you're working alone, and I know a lot of you are in this uh, COVID-19 world, it's kind of tough to handle all four loose pieces by yourself. So our guys are putting them together in an L. Um, you know, glue it. All Python products, we like to say you got to glue it and screw it. And the glue that we recommend is Loctite PL Premium, a uh, liquid polyurethane. So you put that stuff together and uh, that joint is not gonna come apart. A piece probably breaks before the joint comes apart. And then, of course, glue and screw and nail the, the cap and base around the shaft, and you got a nice clean look. Uh, paint it or stain it. We got our next, our next uh, slide talks about uh, what we recommend for stain on any five-pound grain product is this general finish of stain. It's really nice if any of you were at the uh, JLC show the, the past few years, um, 
you know, in our demo booth, we were, the team was uh, staining Saipan grained product, and uh, we used this general finishes stain, which is a latex uh, water-based product, and uh, goes on really nice, doesn't set up too quick, uh, nice soft finish, a nice look. So it really looks, uh, it looks like the real McCoy when it's done. All right. Okay, could we go forward? Also, it does say we need to, you need to paint and finish the stuff within 90 days, so keep that in mind. Uh, this shows, you know, some of the other products that we make in the Pipon grain category. Um, you know, we make the grain brackets, our board and batten shutter. Uh, we came out with rafter tails with a detail at the end of it in 2019. And, again, somebody that's taken a, um, you know, kind of a, I want to say a, a, a pretty simple design and really has that accentuated uh, the house with some with some of the uh, detail products that we have available through through Python, the rafter tails, the corbels, um, the column wraps. In terms of the Edders Ever Theater column wrap <clears throat> in square, they come in six, eight, twelve, or ten inch uh, width, ninety six hundred, eight hundred twenty, and tapered, of course, usually in a Craftsman uh, column application, a little bit shorter height, uh, eight by eight by twelve and eleven by sixteen. Um, and, of course, we have the cap and base that comes standard in those products. All right. I'll toss this presentation over to John Warnicke. He's going to talk about promotion. Okay. Thanks, Greg. Sure. So um, I'm going to go through, we have about, uh, as we kind of wrap up here, about 10 slides um, focused on some of the marketing efforts and also the materials and sales tools that are available to you. Um, we know in this environment, especially with the limited in-person interaction, um, the digital tools and having a digital presence is more important than ever. Um, so I'll try and get through this fairly quickly. Um, definitely if you have any specific questions or needs, reach out to Greg or Kate and they can help get you set up. So when it comes to marketing, um, really what we're gonna go over are Two areas, number one, brand leadership and some of the efforts that Thermature and Fipon are um, going after. And then also the tools that are available to you and um, that can be utilized during the selection process and um, also just to kind of assist with the efforts of promoting products. And really the goal um, of going over this information is to find some ways to differentiate your business from the competition uh, to help increase the perceived value of the homes that um, are being built and remodeled out there for you, adding, finding ways to add to your bottom line by showcasing tools that are available to sell the more premium product lines. And at the end of the day, we want the end users who purchase these products to be happy with them, um, to increase their satisfaction and uh, make sure that you guys get less fallbacks. So we'll explore first the area of brand leadership So in terms of brand leadership efforts, um, Thermatru is recognized, actually, we just received this award for 2020 as well. So for the last 23 years, there was a study by Builder Magazine, and Thermatru has been recognized as the brand most used amongst builders. So we've provided some materials um, that are available, including flyers, um, email templates, and logos um, to help promote this. And this really helps to let your consumers know um, that you offer the option that most builders trust and use. We want um, the end user, the customer, to be happy with their purchase. And we know that it helps when they recognize the brand name. Um, but then also to see, not only do they recognize the name, but they can see that it's something other people use and trust as well. And so we were also fortunate to receive this recognition from the remodeling magazine as well in 2019 and in 2020. So we ranked as the highest for brand used most amongst remodelers as well. And as you can see, there's some different marketing tools, including the flyer, uh, email template and logo that you can utilize to let your consumers know that you offer this option that not only remodelers, but also builders use most. So the Consumer's Digest Award, in terms of recognition, I would say it's a little more recognizable than the Remodeling Magazine and the Builders Award. 
Um, this one incorporates not only some of the recognition that we got, but specific to the, the uh, door lines that we received those recognitions for. Um, so you can kind of see the information there. We received recognition for the classic craft and fiber classic door lines. And so we offer different support materials that include um, labels you can put on the display doors in your showrooms and also some flyers that you can order as well. So those are available not only through us, but you can actually go to the Consumer's Digest directly to see those materials. So now we'll dive a little more into the marketing tools that are available to you. So when most people think of marketing, um, they think of a lot of the print collateral that's available. You know, a lot of consumers do like to see this when they go looking at options to see a booklet of options available. The selection process can definitely be a little bit overwhelming too. I'm sure as you guys have experienced a time or two where there's so many options, they're not sure exactly what to choose. So we've developed a, a lot of materials out there that help with that. So instead of giving someone a full line catalog with all the door options that are included, um, you can kind of get down to what style they're interested in, if there's a certain type of door, certain size of door, um, that can really help to narrow down the options for them. So not only are these available in print form, but um, most of these are available digitally as well through our website. So when you talk about this selection process, I think the architectural home style guide is one of the best pieces out there to really help with that. Kate kind of went through the different design trends that we're seeing early on in the presentation. So what this does is it takes that style and then it really hones in on the different door selections that are available within that style. So if someone's looking for that craftsman look, it'll showcase what products we have available in a number of different colors, glass shapes, if they're looking for a, a solid door with no glass, also giving them some options there as well. And then Greg had referenced even the, uh, the SDL options that are available. So you can kind of see on this booklet, to the page that's flipped open there, it kind of showcases some of the different patterns that maybe they wouldn't have thought of before. And what's nice about this too, is it also shows them the different price ranges. So um, you can't really see it, but at the very top, it has $3 signs. So it kind of shows them the more premium choice, um, and then as you get towards the bottom of the page, um, more of like an entry level or budget friendly choice there as well. So it really helps them to kind of get a feel for what option they're interested in, um, the price point and the style. And this is another tool that's available through our website um, where you can get a digital copy or you can order print material as well. So speaking of the Thermature website, this is just a great resource not only for um, marketing materials, but also for information. Um, we actually have a professional section on the website. And when you log on to thermature.com, you'll notice there's a red icon towards the top right. So it'll either say, I'm a professional or I'm a homeowner. So when you click on that, it'll take you to the professional section of our website that'll look like this. Uh, good timing on the transition there, Kate. <laughs> so um, when you click in the professional section, um, it'll show you tools and resources that are available. We also have our certified installer program that is being highlighted. If you guys haven't done that or you haven't heard of the installer program, definitely check out our website and you can get links right up to that. Um, that's an online program that we have developed that really showcases the um, latest installation techniques and information that's out there. And then also information about new products and technical information as well. And right now can be a good time um, when we talk about website resources out there. We have an online education center um, dedicated to showcasing the latest information about products that are available. Um, there's also some, some really helpful information such as how to measure a door, you can see towards the middle there, and sales support tools that are available for you. So this is an online um, module form. So you can take each module. Um, they really don't take a lot of time and it gives you some really helpful information. If um, you do have some folks that are working from home or maybe the showroom is just a little bit slower, you know, now can be a good time to um, kind of get the latest information on products and tools that are available to you through the Education Center. And then when you complete those, you get a certificate too.
So once you complete those different modules, you'll get that certificate of completion and hey, you can post that on the fridge at home for your kids to see. And so that wraps up my part. Um, I want to go ahead and just open it up for any questions that you guys have. Yeah, first I'm just going to have to say thank you to Nate Bailey from Harvey um, because I was so focused on trying to nail some of those slide transitions. I wasn't watching the chat screen and he was over there diligently answering questions for us. So um, I appreciate that. Um, if there's any other questions before we wrap up, you can just put them into that, that chat box um, and feel free to ask them to the group. Um, just some of the comments that came across, if anyone wasn't looking at it, is um, some positive comments specific to the black GBGs and, and the, how well received they will be in the market. Um, we definitely agree that with that and, and think that probably going into next year and beyond, you'll see some expansion into the ability to do some split finish on that, whereas right now it is just the black on black. Um, a question on the flush glaze um, upcharge, um, and Nate, thank you, because answered that from the Harvey perspective that, that the door pricing um, is close, um, but please reach out to them to get a price based on whatever your specs are that you would be trying to do the comparison um, from. Any other questions? Hey, Kate, it's Greg. It's, it, hey, Kate I'm, I'm going to jump in there on the pricing. A, a couple of years ago, um, we, we really did a good job in, in standardizing and in, in taking some logic into flush glaze, because that was a real common question, right? We talk about flush glaze, and then you you, know, you see somebody at a show, and and you know, two weeks later, the, you get a call and say, "Hey, I went to, I, I, I went to price out this flush glaze door, and it was, wow, it was really a lot different than than what I where I thought it was going to be." Or we'd even sometimes hear from, uh, you know, like a Harvey salesperson say, "Can this be right? I mean, the flush glaze door came out less than the lip light door. It, it, the pricing really, as we introduced new products over the years, didn't make sense, but we standardized that." Um, and I know Harvey's, the pricing folks at Harvey's work real hard uh, with us. Um, so it should be, um, it should make a lot more sense. It's, it's a bit more, and, and again, you can get into the, into the actual specifics with your Harvey sales rep, but it's, it's pretty linear. So it's not crazy and it's not gonna be a big swing one way or the other. Um, you know, we, we like to try to have a nice transition from lip light to flush glaze because it's gonna be a little more money but there's a lot more glass in the door too. So, um, so it, it kind of makes sense. All right, thank you. And I do not see any more um, questions. So really appreciate everyone's time and have a lovely rest of your afternoon.